I think as you saw today, the Department of Justice, Department of Treasury, and the State Department took a series of coordinated actions against foreign actors associated with the Russian government who are attempting to covertly influence our elections. Specifically, all these federal agencies revealed activities directed and funded by RT, formerly known as Russia Today, to covertly spread Russian government propaganda with the aim of reducing international support for Ukraine, bolstering pro-Russian policies and interests, and influencing voters here in the U.S. Uh, and in foreign elections as well. RT is no longer just a propaganda arm of the Kremlin. It is being used to advance covert Russian influence actions. Additionally, the Russian government is laundering influence and information operations through Kremlin-controlled commercial firms, such as the Social Design Agency, that work extensively at the direction and control of the Russian Federation. All of this activity was designed to funnel disinformation through outlets and social media influencers that a certain number of Americans find credible. We will not stand for that. So in addition to the law enforcement actions that were announced just a little bit ago by the Attorney General, the State Department announced a new policy to restrict visas for employees of Kremlin-supported media organizations that are affiliated with these covert activities. And they released a $10 million reward for justice for individuals associated with a Russian hacking group that's named Russian Angry Hackers Did It, or Ra Did, for short, as it's also known. The State Department also designated six RT-affiliated entities as foreign missions, a designation that now requires them to report information about their personnel and their property to the United States government. For their part, the Treasury Department is sanctioning six executives and officials affiliated with RT, three executives associated with other Kremlin-controlled organizations. And additionally, the Treasury Department is designating ANO Dialogue, a Russian government-funded I'm sorry, a Russian government founded nonprofit that uses artificial intelligence to create and distribute online Russian disinformation for use against election campaigns. The Treasury included ANO Dialogue's subsidiary and its executive officer in its sanctions as well. Now, Russia, of course, is not alone in its desire to destabilize our democracy. As you may recall, just last month, the United States government disclosed that Iran engaged in a series of cyber actions with the intent to gain access to the private communications of former President Trump and his campaign by way of associated political advisors. Those efforts were clearly intended to denigrate former President Trump and to compromise his political campaign. We made it clear then, and we make it clear again today, that this is unacceptable and we won't stand for it either. Let me close with just two more thoughts, if I could. First and most importantly, we are committed to protecting our democracy and our elections, regardless of the source or the target trying to interfere with them. As today's actions make clear, we have the ability to monitor these threats, to thwart them, to identify the actors involved, and to hold the actors involved accountable. We will continue to do so. These actions are the result of months of hard investigative and interagency cooperation, and we're grateful for the law enforcement, diplomatic, intelligence, and treasury professionals who brought it all together. They put the interest of the American people first, where, right where it belongs. That brings me to my second point. The hard work now must continue. No resting, no waiting, no backing off. The American people can rest assured that the men and women of the federal government are at this very moment laboring to prevent future abuses and interference in our electoral process. But this cannot alone be the work of government. Every citizen bears a hand. We urge all Americans to read through the indictment today study the sanctions and the designations that we announced. All of it's online. All of it is readily available to you. Likewise, please take time to consider how you get your news and information. It can be difficult, of course, to be absolutely certain of its authenticity, especially given the covert tactics of groups like RT. But with time, some patience, and a firm reliance on credible and established media outlets, that uncertainty can be greatly reduced. As President Biden has said, democracy can at times be fragile, but it is also inherently resilient. We all need to work together as Americans to ensure that resilience. That's it. Thank you.